What's going on guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, we're gonna be going over the expected move like we always do every single week. And then after that, or before that actually, we're gonna talk about some news that came out over the weekend that is very interesting regarding Neo. Now before we get into this video, I'd like to remind you, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for being here. Let's get right into the news. So basically, this pretty much happened over the weekend and it's a pretty big deal. So. What came out was Neo Power Beijing, a subsidiary of Neo, signed a five-year agreement with state-owned Beijing Industrial and Trading Company to put battery swap stations along the Beijing Capital Ring Expressway. So basically, they're going to have their swap stations. So how Neo operates, in case you didn't know, is you go in and instead of getting your battery charged, they just swap it out if you want to do that feature. So. We'll and most of the cars you can what you can do is you can buy the one without the battery and then you just pay a monthly subscription service and that's how you swap out the battery and i imagine that's been very effective for them so now what they're doing they're expanding it and they're putting it on the highway so when someone's driving they just pull off swap the battery get on in their way so that's very exciting to see coming out of neo that's huge news that lets you know they're expanding they have a lot of good things coming for 2021 and after that so that's still very good to see on neo even though it's been on you know this downward trend and we're trying to break that so last week the expected move was right here okay i didn't want to delete that for you guys yet just so you could see what it looked like last week and then what we'll do is we'll look at the one for this week so if you're new on the channel and you haven't seen these type of videos basically what i go over is the expected move it's a move that market makers give a particular stock you can look at anyone so we're looking at neo obviously and what you do is you go to your brokerage the option chain type in whatever it is this is thinkorswim platform you go over here to the friday's expiration that you want to see obviously we're doing this friday which is the 26th then what we do is we follow over here and see that it's 3.7 implied volatility is 86 percent so if you've been following neo if you've been following my videos you know that implied volatility has been actually very high lately it's been over 100 percent and then it looks like at least for a little while we're starting to die down on the volatility which is good for the market we've been seeing some crazy volatility and the lower that volatility is the greater for us because we won't have to experience those huge swings that we've been doing where the market randomly just drops 400 points out of nowhere so if we're low on the volatility that's amazing to see so what you do after you find the move guys is you take your tool and then you go for where we close that on Friday. It's very important that you go from Friday. So we're gonna go up 3.7 because that's where it's a range. So we have to do the plus portion and then we also have to do the minus portion. Now I say this every video, you do not have to make sure that's exact. It can it can be a couple of cents off. It does not be exact here, guys. So 3.7, where does that put us? Right here. So right here at the top of this line basically so right where one of them was previously so 39 39 and then the top of our move is 47 36 47 45 around that range so basically now guys we got our range it's really small actually this week so the top of this puts us above 40 right at 47 the bottom of it puts us at around 39 dollars so this is not a huge move at all normally we're used to a lot more crazier moves on neo especially recently that's why i was telling you that implied volatility is down but this can be good for us. So I've been mentioning on my previous videos that I wanted NEO to close at 48.31 this week. Now you may ask, hey, that's above the standard deviation. This is above the first move. Well, guess what? It can go above it. We've seen it before. We've seen it close underneath the first one. So it's very possible that once we get underneath this first one, then we make a dash to the second one. We've seen that happen. When this downturn happened, guys, we went from the first one we went to the second one and then we tried to go for that third one. That's when everything was just crashing though. So keep that in mind as well. But volatility is crazy. So assuming that we do hit the second move this week, we could potentially see 50 plus. So that's exactly what you want to see on Neo. But I'm comfortable with Neo closing at 48.31 this week. That would set us up past this high right here. Basically what I was reflecting on and looking at, I want us to get above this high this week. Just because we're making lower highs, or sorry, higher lows, and then what do we else do we need? We need to make sure we get past this last high, so higher highs. That puts us back confirming this reversal because if we get rejected right here and in the week down here, yes, we're still above this low right here, but it's still it's not convincing, guys. It's not a good setup. So that's why this week is very important. This week is green for us. Just based off if we got the pullback last week, okay, market got a little crazy. We got the pullback. Now we need to start kicking in gear and now we need to start pumping up. So basically 
what we're working with to summarize everything, guys. Expect to move 4750, 39, 39, around that area. It doesn't have to be exact. And what I'm looking at for is a close at or near 4831 this weekend. Potentially, we could get crazy and we could see that $50 plus movement. But I wouldn't hold your breath for it. We're just going to have to see how this week plays out, especially looking at the NASDAQ. Got to see some movement on this as well for any other push up. So, hopefully, you enjoyed this video. If you're a new viewer, welcome. Hopefully, you like this video and learned something new. Hit the subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next video.